Matthew chapter 14, verse 22. And straightway Yahweh Shai constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. In the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh Shai went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the, when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Yahweh Shai spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh Shai. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and he began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Call Halayim, Wahatapa Rathla, Allahaya Nawa Yahweh, Bahashem Shah Malak Nawa Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Shah Harachakadash, La Iwalam Yam, Shalawan Wa Ahab Wa Barakim, La Habayat Shah Dawada, Habaka Yayim Shah Yasharala, Shanya Kabad Gawala Rakub, Sukwayim Nawa, Waha Shalayakim Nawa, Shah Yasharala Ba'ith. I want to give all praises and the glory to our power, Yahweh, in the name of our King, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, forever. Peace and love and blessings to the house of David, the hopeful elect, and double honors to the men of Great Millstone, our elders and our apostles in these times. So this video. Is going to be entitled if you're walking around with a mask you're not in the truth and we have to understand that this coronavirus is, is getting out of hand right according to the media according to the CDC they say that this thing can spread and and it can, it can be a, a serious pandemic you already got the so-called Chinese the Moabites dropping dead from this this virus but we have to continue to have faith we have to continue to believe that the heavenly father is going to protect us cover us and deliver us from the the the, the, the noisome pestilence man these different plagues that are sent onto the earth we have to believe that yahweh bahashem yahweh is going to hold his elect in his hand and 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 protect us man Lord willing, we be a part of that number. So I brought out this account in Matthew, the 14th chapter, because we clearly see that Peter walked on water with Yahweh Shai, man. But what happened when he started to doubt? He sunk. He sunk because of the doubt that he had. And even Yahweh Shai said, wherefore did I, what, wherefore didst thou doubt? We can't we can't doubt in these last days, man. Because if we doubt, that's when we sink. That's when we fall. That's when we 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 ultimately fail, man. You having faith in the heavenly Father unto the end, and in, in His Son, is your 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 guaranteed A plus, man. You're gonna win. You already won. Do Yahweh Shai, man. But you have to believe on him. If you don't believe on him, then you're automatically going to lose. So, <clears throat> like I said, I brought this out because it is powerful. And it's so many different points in, in this situation. Right? Yahweh Shai, we, we know that he he's the son of the Most High. He walked on water, man. Something that no average man can do. And he allowed his disciple to walk on water as well because of his faith. But when when the 
the adversity came, the winds blew, and he became afraid, he sunk because he started to doubt. We can't let these these plagues, we can't let everything that the Lord said was going to happen cause us to doubt, man. But what did what did Peter do? Peter called on the Lord, man. He said, "Lord, save me." Even if even if you feel like your faith is failing, you feel like you you know, you're you're down in the spirit. Amen. Call on the Lord, man. And what did it say? It says verse 31, "And immediately Immediately, Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hand. Immediately. When Peter called on him, he didn't wait. He didn't, you know, it was like, oh, well, I'm going to let him sink for a little bit. No, he immediately stretched forth his hand and caught him and said, O oh, thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? So Yahweh Shai was like, yo, why'd you doubt, man? You did it. You was doing it. And he was there for him, man. He was there for him as soon as he started uh, to sing. And as soon as he called on him, man, that's how important the name of the Lord is. Because in, in, in when all hell breaks loose, man, when Daniel's the 12th chapter is in full effect. When, when Jeremiah 30 and 7 is in full effect. You're going to have to call on the name of the Lord, man. And if first and foremost, if you don't know the name of the Lord. You're already screwed. But you have to have faith when you're calling on the name of the Lord. You have to have faith when, when you're uh, depending on Yahweh Shemi Shai, man. You cannot doubt. And, and that's why I named this, this, this video. If you feel like you need to wear a mask, you have little faith, man. You have little faith. Because, hey, the Lord wants you to get this virus, man. You're going to get it. <laughs> you know, all we can do is pray that the Heavenly Father have mercy on us. Right? So let me jump to another precept. This is uh the book of the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. So we have to trust in the Lord, man, with all our heart. You can't be like, oh, well, you know, the coronavirus is, you know, spreading like crazy right now. I, so I might need to go get a mask or I might need to uh, 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 do whatever. No, man. You trust in the Lord. Hey, the, the only thing you need to do is is make sure you're eating right. You're working out. You're trusting in the Lord. And, and, and the scriptures say, lean not unto thy own understanding. Verse 6, it says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So when, hey, when you acknowledge him, and, and he, he will direct the, the, your paths, man. Be not wise in thy own eyes. If you feel like you need to get a mask, you are being wise in your own eyes. You have to fear the Lord, man. <laughs> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So uh, let me get this. This is the book of Habakkuk. Right? Habakkuk. Because there's something else in there. Habakkuk chapter 2. And verse 4. It says, Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. This is speaking about Esau Edom. Right? Because the Heavenly Father has used this man to bring these plagues upon the earth. These different pestilences and, and, and diseases, right? People killing with the sword. It's all because of Esau, man. It says, but the just shall live by his faith. And, and, and if, you, if, if you're in this current world, you have to live by your faith. If you don't have faith, you have nothing, man. If you don't have faith, you have nothing. Because ultimately, what do you believe in? What do you trust in? Can you truly put all your eggs in that basket? I know that I could put all my eggs in, in, in the basket of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Why? Because of these, these scriptures, man, the prophecies. This word is 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 powerful, man. 
the Lord is not a man that he should lie. If he said he's going to protect his men, his servants are going to eat. Then I'm a believer, man. But if you don't believe it, if you feel like the Lord is, is not powerful enough to feed you during famine or, or protect you from a pestilence. Then he's not Hey, he's not going to protect you, man. This is uh, let me grab this. Book of Sirach, chapter two. Book of Sirach, chapter two, verse 10, it says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right. If you call upon the Lord, you think you like, no, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't like that dude, even though he calling on my name. No, no, man, the Lord, hey. The scriptures say, he that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, man. Right? Daniel, in the lion's den, he was delivered. The three holy children, delivered. Susanna, delivered. Right? Mordecai, delivered. All of our forefathers were delivered when they called upon the name of the Lord. David. So we have to understand that, hey, if you trust in the Lord, man, you, you won't be confounded. If you fear the Lord, you won't be forsaken. The Lord won't despise you when you call upon his name, man. Why? Because you have set your love upon him pertaining to Psalms, the 91st chapter. Verse 11, it says, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. So, hey, when we're going through when we're going through hell, hey, the, le the heavenly Father is going to have mercy, man. He's going to have compassion. He knows that we're nothing but dust and ashes. So, why, what, what, what benefit would he receive from just destroying us or or completely torturing us? For no, for no reason. We only get chastened due to our iniquities, man. The things that we've committed. And what, what what we're committing in in this flesh in, in our past lives. And the heavenly Father knows our heart, man. That's why he he is full of compassion and mercy. And long suffering. He knows who's right. Who he knows who's wrong. Verse twelve it says, "But woe to fearf fearful hearts, and faint hands, and the sinners that go two ways." So you're you're a, fear, a fearful heart when you you feel like you need to grab a, a a damn doctor's mask because of the coronavirus, man. Right? And if you're not doing the work, you you have faint hands. It says, "Woe unto him that is is faint-hearted, for he believeth not; therefore shall he not be defended." So hey, you can't be faint-hearted, man. The scriptures say. Um, because thou art lukewarm, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And you got to be hot, man, when, you, when, when you're dealing with the Lord. You can't be like, oh, you know, I don't know if this is the Lord, brother. You just have to believe, man. That's where faith comes in. That leap of faith. You know, Hebrews, the 11th chapter. You have to believe, uh, what is it, the substance of things hoped for? The evidence of things not seen? You have to believe, man. You have to know. You know through your faith. You know because of these scriptures, man. It says, Woe unto to you that have lost patience, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Right. If you, oh, you know, well, the Lord, he ain't come yet, and this coronavirus getting crazy. I need to get a mask. I need to, you know, make sure to, uh, I got to shave my beard a little bit so the hairs don't. <laughs> no, man. You have to fear the Lord, man. That's the main point. The main objective is to fear the Lord. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is, is, is a great king, man. And if you're not hearkening to the king, hey, you're going to get put to death. And, and that could be through the coronavirus. It could be through Esau. It could be through whatever it may be that the Heavenly Father finds suit. You know, he set four charges, man.
you know, Jeremiah, the, the 16th chapter. So, you got to make sure you keep your faith, man. You know, read these scriptures. Go into the, the history. The different accounts of our forefathers. They all called upon the Lord, man, and, and were delivered. And, and, and the Heavenly Father did not forsake them, man. He didn't forsake any of the men that called upon him. Judas, Judas Maccabees, right? Look at look at the the case where he was going to war with our enemies, coming back with great spoil, being being of a small multitude, but the heavenly Father had delivered them, man. Why? Because what they fasted, they prayed, and they begged the Lord to fight fight their battles for them, man. And that's what we must do now. We must ask the Lord to to fight this battle for us. Because if it wasn't for the Spirit of the Lord, man, we wouldn't be here. We would not be breathing right now if it wasn't for the Spirit of Yahweh. Let me grab that precept. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. It says, For I am the Lord, Yahweh. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord doesn't change, man. In Romans, the ninth chapter, verse 13, it says, uh, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. So the Lord loves Jacob, man. He loves the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but two-thirds of our people are wicked, man. They don't want to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. They don't want to serve him in righteousness. So he has a, a righteous indignation against two-thirds of our people. Hey, I pray that I'm not part of the two-thirds. I pray that, that I, I, I find grace in the sight of, of the Lord, man. Yeah, and we must continue to, to ask the Heavenly Father for mercy because he's getting, he's getting ready to, to hurt this place, man, in the worst way possible. He's getting ready to annihilate this place in, in, in the most... Craziest <laughs> way possible, man. Thermonuclear missiles. Fire. The Heavenly Father is getting ready to annihilate this place. And all we can do is hope and pray that the Heavenly Father has mercy on us and deliver us from that fire, man. So I just want to make this quick video through the Spirit. I pray it was at a fine faith boosting. Keep the faith. Stay up. Pray up. Never give up. Call Haloyim. Wahatapa Arathla. Allah ya nawa yahawa, Bahashem shah malak nawa yahawa shai, Bahashem shah ha rachakadash. Double honor to the men of great millstone, who rule well. Salutations to all you Akim out there pushing, preaching in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. To us, Shalawam. This is your brother Yashar. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalawam.